Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we're going to be doing up this little Johnson 15 horsepower. Seems to have some bypass issues or something going on in the old carbonator. So we're going to get on that. Um, but also in this video, um, I have had a couple of questions uh, about my types of drill drivers and stuff that I use. Um, I have used them all, uh, just about every brand imaginable. Um, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, um, Black & Decker, Rigid, um, all of them, Boztech. And here's your, you know, your standard little, you know, do it, you get a little light and everything, and this works good. I think this is 24 volt. Eighteen volt, eighteen volt. Um, good little drivers, you know. It, it's variable, so it's variable. This one's made by Boztech. Um, I've had the Milwaukee stuff, uh, cordless stuff, and I still have that. I have a Dewalt over there somewhere. But there's one particular one, drill driver, whatever you want to call it. I have three of them. And if I come across them at thrift shops, yard sales, or whatnot, I purchase them. It has one main feature that I really, really like. And I use it probably more than any other driver uh, in my little shop here. Um, they're just, and I don't think they're, they're, no longer produced. They produce the name brand and they still have drill drivers called that name but they're not this one and uh, I looked on Amazon and stuff just to see if they were there and they were there. I was like oh cool and then I looked and it said not available or item unavailable and uh, then there was a little disclaimer down there saying this this item um, something along the lines no longer available don't know when the the you know when it the item will be available or if it will be available so but here it is they call them the firestorm black and decker um and it you know it 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 don't look like much for sure but the the main feature is this it has extra heads and i can buy these heads um and so I've got like six, three of these, so I've got like six of these heads. And so like in that one, I have a Torx 27 for doing chainsaws, steel chainsaws and so forth. But, and here I have a graduated drill bit. Um, and then you just, and now I've got a screwdriver. So it makes it real easy drilling that hole. And then you just take this thing here and drill your, your screw in. Um, I literally built my whole 15 by 15 foot deck with stairs with one of these. I had a drill bit in it. I could drill a pilot hole. After I drilled a pilot hole, then I could take this off and run the deck screw in. Back on, drill some more holes. You get the picture. But I like them because I can have them set up for different things. Um, like I said, this one is a 27 Torx that I just leave in this one. For doing the steel chainsaws. Here's my wire brush. I keep this one in a head all the time just for doing my wire. If I got a, if I'm doing an outboard and the where the coils mount is yucky and stuff, I just clean it up and then if I need to, there I've got a quarter inch driver bit in there. And they lock in. You don't have to worry about them slipping out. You got to push that down to pull it out. So, you know, and they make uh, drill bits with that lock-in feature. What else? I had another one. Um, they make extra long screwdrivers with that lock-in feature. 
So this is, <laughs> I just can't live without these things. Um, I've gotten used to them, and I love the way they, they, they function with that double whammy. Um, I can keep a set of these with the things I use regularly. Um, sitting over here on my little cart, I can just, if I need a wire brush, I just, and I got a wire brush. If I need a little driver, and I can put a quarter inch driver, a half inch driver, three eighths inch driver in, in one of these. So I really like them. Yeah, they sell the different size driver bits. It's a three eighths one there. So they sell everything for them, and they are just one of the most handy tools out there. I love them, and, and they're tough. I drop these things all the time. The batteries are still available for them, even though that one ain't locked in all the way now. It the batteries are readily available for them online, and I believe they called this the Firestorm. Anyway, it's a CD18SR, Type 4, 18 volt. And uh, fantastic tools. Um, like I said, I use them all the time, and, and they're just handy as can be. I still like having the little, you know, the impact drivers and the Milwaukee's and whatnot. But I, you know, a lot of people consider Black & Decker a cheapest type tool and so forth. Um, I can't say that. Both of those that I have there are around 20 years old. They're, I've had them almost 20 years. And like I said, I drop them constantly and, and, uh, bang them up but they're tough so uh, just wanted to go over that so let's get started on this little Johnson 15 so let's see what we got going here see about there I'll choke it now he's gonna tell me he's got no spark Much of nothing happening there. Let's see. Maybe the cylinder's just all dried out. Whew. Well, there's some black, dirty things. Both the, this one ain't too bad. It don't look like that bottom one's been fired. You should be able to see it right there. Somewhere. Good hot fire. Now here's the little Johnson in question, which means carb's got to come off and be split open because no gas at all go through. I'm going to pull that off real quick. The uh, this is one of these. Can you hurry up and get it done? We're leaving tomorrow night on a hunt. One of them kind. We're leaving tomorrow night. We need that. We need that engine now. All right, let's clip the gas back on and see if it'll at least come through to the fuel pump. And of course it will. So, we got to plug Carby. Get a bit of rust in there. Oh yeah, she saw the rust. Now, let's watch here. Now, 
Yummy. Yummy. Cleaner majiggies. Yeah, we're gonna get all that out of there. Now I see some light. Okay, just take some rattle can, spray the goods, put in there. Let's take this other guy out. See what we got going in the old emulsion tube. smaller ones right down through the old emotional to be us there we go now I can see it inside squeak, squeak, squeak. I don't know if you can but I can squeak, 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 squeak. so some more and we still got some boogers in there. Still got some little boogers we need to scratch out of there. Sit for just a moment. This dump this over in here. Get it cleaned up. Get all the rust off of that. Okay, this guy. Good. Okay. Take all this. One, two, three. That. Number four. What the hell? Look at that. Look at them boogers. Yeah. Yeah. The boogulets everywhere. That. And get me my get me a rag. I'll just juice up. Mm -hmm. Get you back over here. Okay. Ugh. Pull this guy out. My light ain't even on. Why ain't that? Goopy thing. Okay. There we go. Let's get this transition chamber all cleaned up. Get that all cleaned up. Looking pretty good in there now. Don't lose that. Okay, let's get some compressi on us there. All right, I'm just blowing everything out now. Let's 
still see a little more white powdery crap in there. So I'm getting that out of there. There we go. Get us a little tri flow. Make sure all my thingies are free. They are. back in from there half one half two close enough um Make sure my washer's on there too, and it is. Well, See what happens.
on top of the head, right by the top spark plug. That's it, the exhaust cover. That's all we're going to do for this one. It's name that tomb. Someone's taking over and it looks like they're aiming right at you. Someone is taking over and it looks like they're aiming right at you. Name that doom. So what do you think there, folks? What do y'all think about that? That'd be a good jet boat. Or is it just too far gone? It's not a pop rivet boat. Sorry about my feener, big old fat feeners. Um, as you can see, the transom is completely gone. trying it'd be some work it'd be a job but I could probably pick it up for next to nothing I'm just wondering about the bottom how bad I see some dents right in there some wavy sections I don't see any glaring holes, but you never know. Boat smart from the start. Wear your life jacket. You can see that transom. Nothing but just a thin piece of tin, but that, I mean, that can all be supported. See if I can find a name on it. Sorry about the weeds. Over here it says Valco, but I don't think that's who made the boat. Well, it might be. Anybody ever heard of a Valco boat? At least I think it. Uh, says Valco but it looks along the line of one of those Grumman got the diamond play corners there's the overall shot I was wondering if those Beckett's in the back there. Are they bolt? Yeah, they, they bolted on. So that that could be easily removed. And nice wood put in there. And get one of my jets set up for it. Somebody squirted some kind of foam in the front there. I'm wondering if there ain't holes up in there. But like I said, I could probably get this thing for next to nothing. 
Yep, her. She is rough. She be rough. So, what do you think? Is this one that I just go, nope, too much, and keep looking? I should have maybe offered a guy 50 bucks. Scrap price. All right, let me know. Okay, this is a next day cold start here. Before I turn this over to the owner, I want to make sure it... Get some gas pump in that puppy. Clean up this whole thick oil down here before I make a mess out of that one. All right, let's see what we get. That's all I want to do. Just run it. Make sure it starts. Easy peasy. And I'll call the owner. Well, that's about all we're going to do to this little guy. He's ready to go on a hunting trip later this afternoon, from what I understand, talking to the owner. So, got that one squared away. Not sure what I'm going to bring in here next. I've got a little Mariner out there that I kind of want to get at, but then I also got that Yamaha Enduro 40 with the busted tiller shaft that I want to look at. So I might just bring them both in here. And what am I do? Bring both of them. But anyway, that's going to be a wrap on this one. So that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Now make sure you subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.